Hmm. Hey everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I have to listen to the new Lady Gaga Bruno Mars song. Okay, let's be real. Lady Gaga, phenomenal voice. Her music, honestly, I love. Um, there are some songs I'm just like, meh. But overall, as an artist, I adore her. I think she is so genre bending and her voice is just superior. She can literally sing anything and it would be good. So can't hate on her. Bruno Mars, again, another phenomenal singer. Like his voice is just so wonderful and so beautiful that I can't hate on him. Do I listen to his music often? No, but he does have some songs that I just love so much. So I'm excited for this. I'm not excited for the image of the music video that I've seen <laughs> because I'm just like, what are we What are we dressing as here? What are we doing? So I'm not judging until I watch, of course. As always, I'm very honest on my channel. So let's hear what this song sounds like. I'm so interested to hear what this is going to be like because they both have phenomenal voices. So the song has to be good, right? Let's see. Okay. I, I just woke up from a dream. Gorgeous. Well, you and I had to say goodbye. Okay. And I don't know what it all means. But since I survived, I realized mm. wherever you go, that's where I'll follow. Nobody's promised to me.
Okay. Did it, did it sound like Avril Lavigne, I'm with you a little bit? Did anyone get that vibe? I just picture Avril screaming that, I'm with you. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Listen, the song is okay. Their voices together are absolutely stunning. But I just like don't really care for this song. Like, I don't think it's revolutionary. I don't think it's like a, oh my God moment. I'm going to be listening to the song over and over again. It's just like, that's okay. It was cute, but I, I, I got nothing from it, guys. I feel like I'm with you by Avril Lavigne is way more boom than this song. Hmm. It's amazing when you take two phenomenal singers and you stick them in a room and they come up with a great song, great lyrics, cute melody, but it just doesn't shock me or surprise me that I, like the way I thought it would. But again, it's it's a it's a nice song. It's just kind of blah. And what like is this video supposed to be like a play on something else because I just don't personally get it. Again, if you're new to my channel, <clears throat> I don't like music videos. And it's for this reason. This is proof why I don't like music videos is because the music video is fine, but it just if I listened to the song on its own, I probably would have been more impressed. You know what I mean? I gotta stop watching music videos. Like Gaga, did we need to have a cigarette in your mouth while you were singing? You weren't really singing because it's a music video. I get it. I just want to know what this whole aesthetic was about. I just don't get it. But overall, like, are they doing an album together? Is this just like a one-off song? Let me just go on Spotify and see what this comes up as. I love when you type in BR in Spotify and Britney Spears comes up. That makes my heart happy. So it just says Die With A Smile, Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars. So not really sure why this happened. Is there an, is there like a movie? Okay, debut collaboration between Gaga and Bruno as they deliver a timeless ballad. <laughs> I wouldn't call it timeless. Die With A Smile represents the first new music from either artist since 2021 and 2022 respectively. Between them, they have sold a staggering 300 million. Yeah, no one cares. So why did this happen? Someone needs to tell me. I just want to know if this is something that's just like a one-off or if it's something that they're going to continue doing. Because I would love to hear more music from them. It's just I'm not like super impressed with this. Uh, it says they've also shared a vintage style video directed by Daniel Ramos and Bruno Mars himself in it. Mars and Gaga perform in a country get up in a room made up like a hybrid 1950s recording studio and TV show set. Okay. Uh, Gaga said, Bruno and I have a lot of mutual respect for each other, and we were talking about collaborating. I was finishing up my own album in Malibu, and one night after a long day, he asked me to come to a studio to hear something he was working on. It was around midnight when I got there, and I was blown away when I heard what he had started making. We stayed up all night and finished writing and recording the song. Bruno's talent is beyond explanation. His musicianship and vision is next level. There's no one like him. Like, I get it. I agree. I think Bruno Mars is so talented, especially with his lyrics. His voice is just phenomenal, but like the song is like, okay, you know? So I guess this is just something they wanted to do for shits and giggles. This is definitely a Bruno Mars song where he wanted her to collab, but we're all patiently waiting for Gaga's new album. So I'm really excited to hear her new album, but I, I think I'll always love Bruno Mars. I think his voice is just so spectacular. I just don't care for the song whatsoever. There's so many good songs he has. Like, Locked Out of Heaven, Just the Way You Are. Uh, what's that one song he had? It was just so good. I don't think it was on that album. I think it was like a doo album. Like, doo is a great album by Bruno Mars. Like, Grenade is such a good song. Marry You is cute, but like, not my vibe. Talking to the Moon. I think that's my favorite Bruno Mars song. It's just so freaking cute. I love it. But anyways, again, both great artists good song just not great in my eyes but I'm so excited to hear Lady Gaga's new album I'm also curious what Bruno Mars is going to do next um obviously he's been doing the Silk Sonic stuff yeah and I have yet to hear it so I can't really comment on it but I am I know it's good because his voice is just phenomenal and he's a great lyricist but overall this song's a hard pass for me I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Do you like the song? Do you think it's like 
overhyped? Do you think it's just like the most amazing thing you've heard in so long? I'm just curious what your thoughts are. We all have different tastes in music. Again, vocally, phenomenal. Lyrics, so cute, but I'm not going to listen to the song again. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, guys, my vinyl of the day is Lana Del Rey's Chemtrails Over the Country Club. I have yet to open this, and I really need to. If you love watching people open vinyl, I have a whole playlist on YouTube Shorts where I open all the vinyls I own. Um, this vinyl has just been kind of chilling on the shelf, and I haven't spun it yet, which is so sad because I reacted to this album, and I honestly fell in love with it, and so I would I just can't wait to spin it. So I'm going to open it this week for sure, and I will put it on my YouTube Shorts. But if you want to see my reaction to this by all means uh if you have heard this album before and if you haven't go check it out and let me know your thoughts cool thank you guys so much for watching this will probably get blocked so patrons i hope you're enjoying this but if it does get to youtube hallelujah and i'll see you guys in my next video <clears throat> these scooters they all think they're motorcycles like are you going in circles bro Ugh. Such a turn off. <laughs> Make it down the road, bro. Make it down the road.